and violence and other kind of violence. Also new at 10 o'clock, we've learned a 34-year-old Nashville man was critically shot in Minneapolis this past weekend. We're told Tyler King was out Saturday night with friends and family for a wedding. He was walking along the Stone Arch Bridge in Minneapolis when the father of two was shot. He was rushed to the hospital where he suffered a stroke and has undergone a craniotomy right now to reduce swelling in his brain. No word tonight on any suspects. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Like the video, hell, share the video. And make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. I'm Jen Quavius Jackson here live reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. Getting a shooting, injuring four people near the Stone Arch Bridge. At least one of them is an innocent bystander back in town for a family wedding. And police say several groups were gathered in that area when the shots were fired. Rob Olson joining us live from Minneapolis. And so Rob, the family is looking for some answers here. Yeah, and they're uh, hoping and praying, too, for a recovery of their loved one. A 34-year-old father, husband, originally from Minnesota, who had uh, moved to Nashville. They were back in town here on vacation to prepare for the wedding of his wife's sister this coming week. And while a crowd gathered here in this intersection behind me, north of the Stone Arch Bridge, and gunfire erupted around 11 o'clock, uh, this man, this 34-year-old, was several blocks away when he was hit. There were a lot of people at that, at that scene, which means we have a lot of people to talk to. The gunfire Saturday night just north of the Stone Arch Bridge came amongst a group that had gathered there. Three teens that were struck and injured were in or near this group, and police are still looking for suspects. That was a scene where we have a lot of people in the area and, and, and present. We need to figure out who was involved and exactly what they did and how they were related to one another. But several blocks away, 34-year-old Tyler King, a husband and father of two from Nashville, was struck in the head. A family spokesperson telling Fox 9 that they were with family and friends to celebrate a wedding next week. That Tyler and his brother-in-law left the restaurant to walk one of the women with the group to her car. The street where they were walking was quiet at the time and they did not see other people nearby, though they did see a large gathering three to four blocks away and then they heard about 30 gunshots. Tyler King is a native of the Twin Cities, as is his wife. He's now suffered a stroke and a brain bleed, and Sunday night had part of his skull removed to reduce swelling. There is a GoFundMe set up to help cover medical costs and the cost of the family's now extended stay in Minnesota, while police sort out who fired. If the people shooting uh, knew the people that were hit, vice versa, or if they're all just strangers to each other, all yet to be determined in the investigation. Yeah, so Minneapolis police are, are encouraging anybody with information to come forward or contact Crime Stoppers. They say they've had a few tips already since this happened about 11 o'clock on Saturday night. Anybody with any video, too, that might help them in the investigation is into who fired the shots in this crowd. But again, this 34-year-old struck in the head several blocks away, again, in town to prepare for a wedding, but now a long road ahead of recovery as he's in critical condition in a hospital. Live in Minneapolis, Robles, Fox 9. <laughs>